Hey guys, I'm in Turkey right now, so yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, look at that view. I'm gonna take a nice dip in the water, so actually, no I'm not, I'm, I'm kidding. This is actually just a painting on the wall. Hello guys, this is me and Bai Luan again in another video. But this time we are going into a Turkish restaurant, Istanbul Grill. We are going to try some food that we never tried before. Hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, um, we are right here at a restaurant called uh, Istanbul Grill. And this is actually a place I always uh, really wanted to go to. And actually I can't wait to try it out. And, uh, and yeah, let's see see how it is and yeah from the menu i ordered a plate called the adana chicken and my friend he ordered actually a, a plate that has a beef and vegetables like tomatoes and onions and even cheese in the bottom i can't remember okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. this is the plate that bailon ordered oh, yeah. and it's very tasty if I do say so and this is the place where we were at it's quite fancy the the ambient is quite nice as well quite pleasant very calm the dish that Bai Long was filming is the one that I ordered the Andana Chicky and the one that's on my side is the other one I cannot recall the okay. name I'm sorry if any of you know the name of this dish please type it down on the comments box and sorry I don't remember the name I even looked at the menu before and I could not find it anywhere but yes look at the setup it's quite beautiful don't yes it's uh, very fancy, quite elegant. Just do your thing. Oh yeah, where's... Here's oh, work. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright guys, first taste. Mm. Mm. What is that? It's good, it's not bad, it's uh, basically, I want to say like mesquite flavor or something like that. Um, what is that. But it has a little bit of spicy kick. This must be radish or... No, these are either radish or beets. Can't really tell, but they're good. Probably beets. Wanna wanna try? Sure. I'm gonna drop it on my plate. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh. Sorry, guy. They're good. Good. They're they're nice for like a snack or something, you know. Tastes like cabbage, pickled like cabbage. Mm-hmm very soury if you're into pickle type food um cool yeah probably See what else try out the next one mm. now, what type of beef is that lamb what's that no this is chicken chicken all right this is what i ordered chicken chicken on rice yeah it's um probably some herbs and some sort of sauce oh, to me it tastes like mesquite or something and you know, I ordered it spicy. It's not really like spicy, spicy. It just has, and that one little spicy kick to it, you know. Huh. Mm. And this is with the rice too. Mm. It's good. And uh, one one thing I like is that they don't go crazy on the salt, you know. Mm -hmm. And try a piece. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah. Everybody gets to try everything over here. Yeah. Uh, my turn. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh, that's nice. It's 
-hmm. Very unique. It's different than what I expected. I was expecting just regular chicken. But um, yeah, there is a lot of spice and ingredients going on in there. It has a, bur a burst of different flavors and spices, mm -hmm. which is yeah. interesting. Yeah. I, I taste some peppers. Like Very some, nice. I don't even know how like to describe salt. it. Pepper, tomatoes, some herbs or something. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not just salt and pepper, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I was thinking when they could. Yeah. Okay, what else? And, uh... The final verdict? Well, me and Bai Luan like this uh, dish very much, and we'd say this pass. Uh, should I talk about this? Uh, what What is this again? I, the name escapes me. But... Uh, I recorded her saying it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these look a lot like tortillas, but yeah, like sliced up, you know? Yeah. You know what I call it, guys? I call it Jesus bread. <laughs> Jesus bread, yeah. I don't know what they We're call it. In mm, Turkey, bread, but every time I see a bread that is some flat bread, I mm -hmm. always assume every flat bread I nickname Jesus bread. Uh, uh, this one's more tougher than none, I believe. Mm -hmm. But um, but softer than a tortilla, way thicker though. Mm -hmm. Thicker than a tortilla. This Looks is more like bread, bread. You know, it's like double or triple the thickness yeah. of a tortilla. Cool though. Uh huh. Can I have a bite? Okay. Now we move on to the next dish which is the one that Bailon okay. ordered. I still have no idea which the name oh, of the dish is, oh. but yes, this yeah. is it. Hmm, like uh, it's good. The thing, the thing is though, let, let me have another bite, okay, sorry. It reminds me of something. Mm -hmm. Some dishes taste like this, but um, it actually reminds me so much of uh, one of the dishes that my mother made a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember it. Well, I don't know if it has a name really, but it's basically like, like you know, like the beef, um, the onion. and you know, the onion, yeah. the tomato, and yeah. stuff, stuff like yes. that. Yeah, and the bell yeah, pepper. this part I think is. But exactly with the exception similar. of that, they added cheese to it or yeah, something. This yeah, this one. I've tried this somewhere as um, like Mexican food. They had it like the steak, onion, bell peppers, and um, cilantro. Mm -hmm. And they cut it, diced it, and cooked it all together. And, but this time, this one has an additional tomato paste and cheese mixed to it, which mm -hmm. gives it an additional different flavor. Yeah, the yeah, especially the cheese. It, it's it like, gives it a twist, you know. It's like Italian. Yeah. It's Italian mixed with Mexican. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Well, and mixed from, with Jesus bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All in one. I haven't tried it with the bread. Yeah, though. I wonder. Just dip this. How is it that it's like so similar to Mexican? May maybe it's just a coincidence, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because like, I don't know. I forgot where Turkey is. And Turkey is a country located in the Middle East or Central Asia. Mm -hmm. It's, um, well, depending on who you ask, but the, the point is it's over. Right next to Greece and right on top of like Syria and Iraq and uh, uh, yeah. I just started recording you right now. Yeah. Very good. It's everything. This is Asian food, right? But the other Asian food. <laughs> but. Yeah, this is kind of more similar to like Mexican food, I guess, or, yeah. Is this considered Mediterranean? Mediterranean and Middle Eastern, yeah. Okay. That's right. I, I didn't know. Yeah. That's cool. So finishing up the chicken adana, I just want to say that the beef plate was very good. Me and Bailon. Bailan Yuyen can actually agree that, you know, it was quite delightful. And, yeah, the, the get, well, the servers and the owners, they treated us fairly well. Yeah. And, and with everything I needed, they were always there to help us. I, I just couldn't help but look at the, well, a lot of the artifacts and a lot of the nice stuff, you know. It's a small room, it's a small place, but however, it looks very nice, very well.
decorated and organized without having it look too uh, overly decorated or full. What's that? Yeah, I just wanted, just wanted to show you guys around. I don't know if you guys can actually hear the background music, but a lot of times it actually reminds me a lot of this one show I used to watch called Al Yazmaylim, which is a Turkish soap opera. I love the actors, like they were very good looking. I liked it. The story seemed quite engaging. Too. And that was actually one of the things that in fact it actually really made me want to go to Turkey. I want to make this my goal to go to Turkey by next year sometime in 2018 and this would be the very first time that I would set foot outside of North America. And yes, Mexico is actually North America, not South America, not Central America, but North America. Even though it doesn't seem like it. US, Canada, and Mexico are all North America. I hope to make this possible and if I do, you will be seeing videos of me in Turkey or if not in China, South Korea, Japan, and in many other places. I will save up and of course I may also open a Patreon account but I don't know about that still. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. I appreciate it so much. So hey guys, th this was our experience and at the Istanbul Grill. This was our experience trying the Turkish food. This is Bailon and this is Antonio Maldonado. It was a real pleasure and uh, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Adios.